Hey Cloud Gamers, I've got a very special update for you today. Let's have a look at why the RTX 4080 for GeForce Now is such a good upgrade. Why? Because we're going to look at what happens from the 3080 and the free 4080 upgrade. Now, I know this isn't rolled out everywhere yet and will be a slow rollout like the original RTX 3080 rollout, but believe me, it's worth the wait. Now, it's not just the boost in graphics, it's mostly around the architecture of the DLSS 3. And DLSS 3 is a culmination of multiple settings, so you'll need ray tracing on, the DLSS set to something like quality, and you'll know that it's DLSS 3 because you'll have a new option called DLSS frame generation. Now, this depends on the game, whether it's in the display or the graphics settings. You can see it's enabled here in Witcher 3 Wild Hunt with everything else completely maxed out. So we'll come back to that in just a minute. But first, let's have a look at Cyberpunk. So this does not have DLSS 3. So we're going to be looking at some of the raw performance upgrades but it does have HDR. So you're going to see a little bit difference of the RTX 4080 version here as I have the HDR turned on and it's quite hard to balance the color between HDR and SDR in post-production. So apologies for that. But what you are going to see is the difference of everything maxed out with DLSS on quality. Both of these are obviously running on DLSS 2. You will see here that the frame rate difference is only around 20. But that's still more than enough because the 3080 there is still dipping under the 60 mark, playing around both driving and with all the shooting going on. So it does make it much more stable. So you can see it's down into the 50s on the 3080. And then when we go into the 4080, we are up into the 70s and 80s. So it makes a big enough difference on the frames per second without DLSS 3. However, when DLSS frame generation is also in the mix, things get really insane. So let's have a look at The Witcher 3. It has full RTX, DLSS 3 and HDR. So again, you have to see those color differences. So look at the difference between these two, all completely maxed out with DLSS on quality. You can see that the RTX 4080 just looks a little bit clearer here. But what really makes a difference is look at the 3080 maxed out here. We're dipping down into the 40 frames per second in these battles. And even when we're moving around outside of battle, we dip into those 40s quite regularly. But when we come over to the 4080 with DLSS 3, the power of Ada Lovelace architecture really shows its worth here. Look, we're up into the hundreds of frames per second. Not only that, we have the HDR enabled and it's just so smooth. It's crisp, it's clean and extremely fluid. And really, you have to see it to believe it. But the... DLSS 3 implementation of the games when they're fully maxed out at 1440p are just absolutely stunning. This is much more apparent if we look at Warhammer 40,000 Dark Tide. This only has ray tracing and DLSS 3, it doesn't have any HDR. This is historically a very demanding game and again you can see the difference between the two here side by side with all the same graphics at the max. Again, you can see a bit of stutter on the 3080 compared to the 4080, but this again becomes extremely apparent as we come full screen on the RTX 3080, especially when we start getting some of the swarms, we are dipping down into the 60 frames per second or sub 60 frames per second mark, and we do get a little bit of jitter on the stream. Now, it's only apparent that we get a little bit of jitter because of the comparison with the 4080 here. For the most part, you don't notice it, and it does feel quite smooth, but it does really bounce around between that 60 and 80 mark, even when there isn't a huge horde at your feet. However, once again, when we go full screen over to the RTX 4080, with that DLSS 3 enabled and all settings completely maxed out, things just look absolutely phenomenal. Look, we've even got clarity in the background and we're pushing over 120 frames per second most of the time still. And even when all hell breaks loose and you have a ton of board coming, it still holds over the 110 frames per second mark quite happily and is absolutely buttery smooth. So if you are wondering what the big deal over the RTX 4080 is and why everybody's raving about the ultimate tier, this is why. It's going to be hard to go back to the RTX 3080 while these roll out across the data centers, but believe me, you have something extremely cool to look forward to, and it's time to start pressuring those publishers to get DLSS 3 enabled in games. Let us know in the comments below what you think of the DLSS 3 implementations and whether this has sold you on the ultimate tier. Thanks for watching.
and see you in the next one.